You're watching Shaw Arts and Entertainment. I'm Curtis Anderson alongside Fiona O'Loughlin today. Here we are deep, deep inside the Sheraton Cavalier. We got soft lights, fire, some music. Not quite as romantic as I had hoped when I talked to you, but regardless, how are things in Saskatoon so far? Very, very cold. Thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah, well, you're no, just, out, just outside having a cigarette. You're in town here for the uh, Just for Laughs comedy festival here, or comedy yep. tour. Yep. Festival's not actually in Saskatoon this year. Maybe next year. Aired for the tour. A little cold outside. You were smoking. I was reading your bio. You once admitted that uh, you smoked indoors while you sent your kids outside. I'm going to start with that. <laughs> right off the top, we got to go there. That's yes. a true story. I've smoked inside with the children. If I need a cigarette, they have to go out. It's much better weather, though, in Australia. Now, you are a mother of five. Mm. That's got to be a huge... Uh, huge part of your comp comedic routine. I mean, are you just kind of broken up here after five kids? Well, I am a mother of five, but I never said I was a good one. Okay. You know, like, I, yeah, it sort of supplies me with a fair bit of material. I yeah. also come from a big family. Like, I've got six brothers and sisters, so, and about 400 cousins. So, I talk about family in all, all its forms, really. I'm just wondering where the comedy comes from. You five kids, Australian, your husband's a dentist, is that correct? No, he's a dental technician. A dental technician. He Someone who's usually down in the mouth? He, <laughs> no, I've got a better joke about okay. it. He makes false teeth. That's what he does for a living. And on Friday nights, he sends me and the kids out to pubs to pick fights. <laughs> See how that works? <laughs> That's awesome. Let's talk a little bit about your career. Um, well, I started... Um, like, I live in the centre of Australia. Yeah. Like, where... Did you ever see the movie... Um, uh, Damn, Guy Pearce was in it. You know, the Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. That's the one. Uh, so no. where they were heading, that's where I'm from. It's right in the middle of Australia. And I was watching the telly and watching stand-up. Montreal, actually, the Montreal yeah. Comedy Festival. And I was like, I want to do that. And the apprenticeship of a stand-up is that you've got to go to your local club and do a tryout, open mic. The tragedy there for me was that my nearest open mic club was 1,600 miles away. So... I caught a bus there and did open mic, and that's how I got started. Really tough industry to make it, especially if you're a female, that's what I'm told. Is that true? Well, it, it, I don't know about well, that. You're the only girl on the tour. Yeah, it, it is, in, in a sense, it's hard to get in as a woman. It's harder. You gotta, but then once you're in, it kind of sticks to one half a dozen the other because it's, it's much easier to separate yourself from the pack, and that's what's hard about comedy. There's so many young, urban, white guys doing it that if you can... I was a man, and I had a lot of work done. No, I didn't. But I'd think about it if I was a guy. It's, I, it's helped me a lot being a woman, yeah. What's it like being on tour as the only female, as I alluded to before? Um, it's hilarious being on tour with this caliber of um, comics. That you know, you're touring. For, we've been touring for a month, and they are five headline acts that you never normally have that many headliners together at once. And really, the f I have not stopped laughing for a month. The fun is most of the fun is in the bus or on the plane. <laughs> Well, you're the workhorse, the backbone. You're hitting every date, yeah. and that you're one of the few. Yeah, I was a very young woman when this, when this tour started. I had my whole life ahead of me. <laughs> also, we're the recipient of a Barry Award. What is a Barry Award? Uh, in Saskatoon, we do not have the Barry Awards. If we did, it would be something completely different. We had no. a, uh, we used to have a hotel here called the Barry. Oh, well, the Barry Award in Australia is uh, named after Barry Humphreys, okay. the guy behind Dame Edna. So he's our greatest wow. comedy export. So the Barry Award goes to whoever, yeah, is the best comic that year. So, so some of your highlights of your career. Um, I think um, Regina in this Reg tour. Regina. Yeah, it was a highlight because there were three over three thousand people in that uh, theatre, and they gave us a standing ovation, and, and that's more people than are in my state. You also <laughs> sold out Tasmania. Yes, I did sell out Tasmania. What's funny in Tasmania? <laughs> well, we're mean to Tasmanians. Tasmania is the most beautiful state in Australia, but we're, because they're a little island and they're off the mainland, and we pretend they're all, you know, each other's, they're their brothers, they're their brothers' wives, mothers, or they're interbred, yeah. Well, by the time this airs, 
the show will be long over. You'll be out of Saskatoon. <laughs> but uh, advice for tonight, open up with uh, Regina being uh, a career highlight. You'll really win over the uh, Saskatoon <laughs> crowd like that. We've got a little bit of a... Play in Saskatoon yet. That's happening tonight, even though it'll be... All well, the bar has been set. The bar has been set. Hopefully, uh, tonight's show is going to go really good as well. Yes, yeah, Saskatoon is beautiful. How gorgeous is it? Oh, it's a little cold today. You know the fall, though. You see, we, I didn't. Understand. We don't call it fall. We call it autumn. And then I realised because I'm not very smart. Um, <laughs> all our trees are not decid deciduous, so not, there's nothing to fall. So that's why we don't call it fall. But there's nothing. It's the fall over now because there's nothing left on the trees. So. Oh, you technically winter now? We have fall and spring for and summer for maybe three or four weeks combined. The rest is winter here in Saskatoon. Oh, yeah. lovely. How hot does it get? How hot does it get? Not very. You got to be quick. You got to be out there one day in August and it gets about 30. Other than yeah. that. Six months of the year where I live, it averages 40 degrees. That's incredible. Mm. What's next for you? Where are you headed after this? You get some downtime? You're going home? I'm going home. Um, so I'll be 50 by the time I get home. The trip home is absolutely killer. It takes me three days and I lose a day. But um, then I think I'm home for three days in my own house, and then I'm doing the Sydney Opera House for ten days, which will be great. Do you have a website any, uh, anywhere people can check out some more information on you? <laughs> I'm a very old woman. I don't have... <laughs> yeah, I've got a MySpace. I've got nothing. I'm an got idiot. I've got... Do the old rotary think... dial telephone give you a call? I think if you... you know, what's up? <laughs> Write me a letter. Okay. <laughs> I've got, I, I have Googled myself once, and I do pop up under my agents. Yeah. Google me. Oh, that's a search engine. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good luck tonight. Start the show telling, uh, telling the Saskatoon crowd how much fun you had in Regina. It's all going to be, all going to be.